Hello guys, Keeper on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into this video, let's see if we can get 50 likes, and if you haven't already, make sure to drop a sub. So, are Birmingham City relegation favourites for next season? Now, you look at the teams that I've got promoted from League One, Wigan, Rotherham and Sunderland. Wigan, I think, will survive. Rotherham, we all know they're getting relegated. They're like the Fulhams and the Norwiches of this world, aren't they? In terms of... They get promoted, get relegated, get promoted, get relegated, so on, so on, so on, so on. Um, Sunderland, I think Sunderland will survive as well. So, yeah, um, only one out of the um, three coming up from League One, in my opinion, will get relegated. Look at Reading. They finished 21st, just about survived last season. I think under Paul Ince, a full season with him in charge, I think they'll be comfortably mid-table. You look at Hull City, they've had a takeover. I don't think they're going to get relegated. Um, Barnsley, Derby, Peterborough, of course. There was, well, apart from Derby, the other two were pretty awful, to be honest. So, yeah, it begs the question, really, doesn't it? With no points deductions to save us this time, are Birmingham City going to be relegated next season? Now, the takeover. In terms of the takeover, I've heard some well, a couple of people in my comment section were saying... That if it's Maxi Lopez and Paul Richardson, they're only going to be buying 21% of the football club. They're only going to get a share of 21%. Now, if that's the case, that means the Chinese are going to still have full control of the football club. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but if this is not a full on takeover, that leaves us in the pits of doom because. Especially with Lee Bowyer, if Lee Bowyer in charge, um, you know, if they don't sack him, let's say if he has a really, really poor start to the season and by like mid-October we're in the bottom three and if a takeover doesn't happen and these owners don't sack Lee Bowyer, then I'd, even if we do sack Lee Bowyer and bring in a manager, I think... It's it all depends on this takeover really. That's that's what it depends on. We need this to happen. Because we've got Anel Hernandez, um Chong. Look at the players that we had last season that were on loan with us. Chong, Hernandez, Lil Taylor, um Sarkic, Sanderson. We had some really good players and they played a, a big part. Some of them played a big part in um keeping us up, let's be honest, they did. And I look at our squad now that we've got currently. I know the transfer window hasn't opened yet, but um, yeah, that squad doesn't fill me with confidence, not one bit. Um, our strikers are Hogan and Lukasukovic. We've got Sam Cosgrove. I know that's come back and Jonathan Lecco, but um, they should be sold or loaned out. I don't really see the point of us learning out. If we're going to lay out like Lecco or Cosgrove, what is the point? We're never going to play them. It was like, it reminds me of Brock Matson. You know, when um, we signed him, Guy Rout signed him, and he was meant to be this um, superstar, but then it completely flopped. I think it was for like, that was when we didn't have any owners at all, wasn't it? I think it was like what, a 2 million. We signed him for 2 million. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments down below. Are Birmingham City relegation favourites for next season? It all depends, like I said, if we can get in some investment or not. Because, um, yeah, I mean, we're. Oh yeah, Let, let's not forget we've got Harlan Dean coming back. He will probably be sold. Surely he will be sold. So yeah, um, it all depends. I keep on saying it all depends on the takeover, whether we have um, a good season or a very, very bad season. Um, will Lee Bowyer be our manager the first game of the season? By the way, the, um, the, uh, the dates for the new season... Um, have come out, they come out yesterday, the season starts July the 30th, so it's like a week or two early this time round, because of course we've got the World Cup in Qatar, 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 yeah, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below, it's been Keeper on TV, make sure to like, share and also subscribe to the channel, thanks for watching guys, keep in contact.